The 101-year-old, whose story captured the hearts of many around the world, has died. Now, we met John last month when he told us how lonely he felt after losing his wife. And his words moved, well, everyone who heard them and saw them and led to the delivery of tens of thousands of Christmas cards, many of which you send. And thank you for that. Graham Satchel reports. We first met John on this programme last month. He was an artillery man, a veteran of the D-Day landings. John told us about his wife, how they'd been married for 70 years, how he missed her after she died of COVID-19. I do get lonely, lonely. You feel lonely? I'm getting used to it. The care home asked people to send John a Christmas card. They arrived from all over the country, all over the world. More than 15,000 in total. Hi, John. Hello. <laughs> Dear John, we saw you on Breakfast TV and we thought we would send you a card to cheer you up. Christmas is a very difficult time for lots of people. Send in hugs. What do you think to all the cards that you've had, John? I'll just thank people as I all I do. Yeah, then that's enough, John. Just to see you smiling again, that's <laughs> enough. John died in hospital last week. He was 101. His carers say he was deeply moved by the cards and gifts he received, would read them till late at night, and that he wasn't lonely at the end. It was a gorgeous story when it happened. The response was incredible from you. So really, really sad to hear this news today. And we'll be joined by John's carer, Marsha Hughes, at half past nine this morning. It's another one of those moments, isn't it, when uh, something, uh, a spotlight is put on a moment in time mm. and people reacted in the most amazing way, which in itself will have lifted other people as yes, well. Exactly. So John will, you know, he will have affected other people too. Mm. Uh, so it's an amazing story. We need stories like that at the moment, don't we? Yeah.